If you're watching this video, then you've probably dragged a 10-bit clip into Premiere Pro just to see some banding, which is something you would expect from 8-bit footage. Let me show you how to fix it. Okay, so this seems to be an issue more with Atomos recorders recording to a ProRes file, and then you drag the clip in and you see this banding. So if I zoom in here, you can see this has got some pretty heavy banding on the right hand side on the wall here. You see all the colors really merging. It doesn't look that good. So the way to fix this is you need to right click on your sequence in Premiere, go to sequence settings and make sure that maximum bit depth is ticked. And you'll find that under the video previews. Then you click OK and you'll notice that the banding there is gone. So let me just turn that off again so you can see the difference. So maximum bit depth is now unchecked, click OK, and then you'll start to see, see this purple sort of gradient coming down here. You'll get rid of that if you make sure that maximum bit depth is turned on. Now that isn't the only thing you need to do though. So once you've actually finished with your project and you want to export it, make sure on your export window that on your video settings, you have render and maximum depth checked. If you have that unchecked, it won't render with the maximum depth and you'll probably still have this banding issue. So make sure that's checked and then the footage should be fine. And that's it. That's how you can make sure your 10-bit footage actually appears 10-bit in Premiere. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.